Do you have any idea how hard it is to be on time every day? Unless you keep it simple. I set two alarms. One goes off 20 minutes before my talk. One goes off three minutes before my talk. And I'm, I'm on time. Take a look at the time. It's 9.59. Not always, but I'm doing my best. And sometimes I'm on the side of the road. Sometimes I'm in a crazy airport. Sometimes the power goes down. Sometimes shit happens. Whatever it is, but I do my best. I would say of the uh, 680, 580 times that I've been here, I'm going to bet that 570 of them are on time. Pretty good number. So I want to give, uh, I found something. And I want to share it with you of things you don't know that all of a sudden pop up. I'm, I collect Albert Hubbard. He's the guy that wrote message to Garcia. I have several signed first editions from 1899, but you don't care. He also compiled and his wife edited the book, the American Bible. Now what's in the American Bible? Well, let's take a look at the table of contents. That'll make it the easiest way to do it. Uh, it was published, by the way, in 1911. So how current could it be? Here's old Albert. Long hair back then. And the book is beautiful. It's, as you can see, it's edited by Alice Hubbard. This particular copy is from, I can't see, uh, 1918, which is, they were both dead by that time. Just a matter of history. So if you get a signed copy of the American Bible after 1917, don't buy it. But it's Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Paine, Abraham Lincoln, Walt Whitman, Robert Ingersoll of Ingersoll Rand fame, Ralph Waldo Emerson, and Albert Hubbard included himself. Huge. So here is then the table of contents. See it? Cool. Now, to get assigned one of these, ooh, that's a big deal. And there's an introduction, and it's by Albert Hubbard and Alice Hubbard, and talking about the people that are in it. I'd say it's a list of who's who in America, wouldn't you? Yep, me too. I was fortunate enough to have acquired one, one copy of the American Bible that was signed by both Alice Hubbard and Albert Hubbard. Whoa. And that makes this book, reading this book is much more electric. But it's pretty cool. It's got all kinds of Emerson quotes and Benjamin Franklin quotes. And it's, I'm going to be reading it again this weekend. That's why I'm bringing it up. But I found online two weeks ago the fact that the American Bible first was written in a slipcase. Like here's the first edition. It kind of looks like a Bible. It has a string through it like a Bible. And when I wrote the sales Bible, I didn't know any better. I said, hey, I want to I want a string through mine. That's how the Bible is. But look, it look at this slipcase. Isn't it cool? Philosophy of eight great Americans. All of them pictured on there. It's just. <laughs> so anyway, this is the one I'm going to read. And take it with me to the beach. When you read old books. It always gives you new ideas. Always, always. And so I'll pick out some Ralph Waldo Emerson quotes some Abraham Lincoln quotes, some Benjamin Franklin quotes. I can't wait. Especially Walt Whitman, my favorite poet. It's amazing how they took the, my favorite people and put them all in one book. That's pretty interesting. I think I have the largest Albert Hubbard collection in the world. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm close to it. I'd like to talk to the people at Roycroft in East Aurora, New York, and see if they would like to have an exhibition of my stuff. 
and invite some people and let them take a look at it. I think it would be cool. Just my opinion, I could be wrong, but might be able to make a few bucks and give a speech, you know, that kind of thing. So turning my collection into money is the next thing that I'm going to focus on in the year 2022 and seeing what I can do with what I have amassed. <laughs> we'll see. Um, let me say hello to a couple of people this morning. Bernstein, who I don't know, is uh, showing a picture of a kid, I think. I can't really quite tell. It's a frame with a dog. Oh, no, it's it's behind a glass something. It's a window. Um, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Cool place. And Mazda Man comes in second today. And Bradley Beck comes in third today. Whenever you see a successful business, someone once made a courageous decision. Peter Drucker. The Daily Drucker is something that you might want to look at as the, his, the historian of modern economics. Just saying. Morning 959ers. Morning, Cynthia. And Joachim rounds out the top six. <laughs> seven, Skinner. Uh, no, eight, Skinner. Muller, seven, eight, Skinner. Mills. Hi, Mills. And the Philippines has checked in in the top 10 position. Cool. Oh, number 593. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow. Closing in on 600. There'll be six. A uh, number 600 will be at the beach this week. I can't wait. Kent, ideas are elusive, slippery things. Best to keep a pad of paper and a small pencil at your bedside so you can stab them during the night before they get away. Classic. I've written about it. Earl Nightingale has written about it. Write your ideas down. Text them to yourself the minute you get them. I Literally, I'm giving a speech here in Charlotte to the National Speakers Association chapter on how to give a speech. I volunteered. I'm calling it rocket speech. It's called having the fuel to get your speech from Earth to the moon, based on what you say. And a couple of ideas came to me this morning as I was cleaning some of the whiskers off of my beard. And I stopped in the middle and I ran to my phone and I wrote everything down. I literally did my speech at my phone at that moment. I didn't wait. Oh, wait till I'm finished shaving. No, 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 no. I stop what I'm doing in the middle and I document my ideas. You're correct, Kent. Ideas are elusive if you let them get away. Thanks, JG, for bringing out the best in me. Well, it's my pleasure. Best year I've ever had so far. It's my pleasure. Keep kicking ass. Good morning, Jeffrey and the Gittimers. Indiana checking in. Mazda Man, I'm going to give you one tip. <clears throat> Go for a ride with each customer in their new car. And then when you're done with them, take a picture of them in their car waving. Windows down, waving, happy. And do a video of it so you can have a quote from them about you're the greatest guy in the world. And then post it up on Instagram. Got it? Good. Gregory Sneed, the great Greg Sneed. How are you this morning, sir? Good morning. Ring. People saying good morning to each other. This is like my fun time. There's no shortage of remarkable ideas. What's still missing is the will to execute. Seth Godin, a good guy. A smart guy. Need for a receipt. Exactly. John Patterson never sold a cash register. He created the demand for a receipt. Whew. Brilliante. And good morning to the world. Got nice people on this morning. Wow, so cool. Hi, Gary. How's it going? Why are we not? I don't understand this. I'm going this week. I'm home next week. Let's set a date to... Have lunch at Belly Acres. Cool? Email me, text me, do whatever. Let's get together. It's time. Bye. Frank Nell, how are you?
Mount Pleasant, boom, for truly showing up every day. People do not decide their futures. They decide their habits. Their habits decide their futures. That is exactly correct. And good morning to everybody. Fred, how's it going? The American Bible by Hubbard, cool collection. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a real cool collection. Um, I'm blessed with my collection. Definitely liked the string of your earlier books. Yeah, you can't get them in America. I print them in America now. You can't get a string in the book. Nuts. I'm confident in myself, so don't need costume or masks. Oh, you're going as yourself for Halloween? What are you going to go as a sales guy? <laughs> hey, got candy? You should go around and try to sell people candy that are running out. I've got a message to Garcia in a suede book cover. Hardly stays together. You know, check out the year. It might be a nine. If it's 1899, it's probably a first edition. Check it out. Send me a picture of the front three or four pages. Bye. Always think of good thoughts. Good. Nothing better than that. A lot of people on giving some nice tips this morning. Highlight a book a day from the collection. Highlight a book a day. Sure. Okay. I can do that. I can definitely do that. Love it. You're amazing. Glad you call you my friend. I'd love to help you monetize that amazing collection. Cool. Let's rock it. Good day, 959ers. Work yourself by working for the good of all. Albert Hubbard, peace to all. Joe from Boston. Hi to Jen and Gabrielle as well. <laughs> cool. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. The great Doug Wing. I, this goes in the book, I'm hoping, Doug. I'm hoping. Just make a note. Let me not just make a note. Let me make sure I capture it. There you go, Douglas. Keep this for the book. And here we go with this. Let's see what happens here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, this is nuts. Not doing anymore. Uh, you'll get it. Okay. I saved it. You saved it. Google Scholar. It has the largest digital collection of great quotes. Four. There we go. I will do it. They have people at Google have nothing to do. I wonder if they're cataloged and categorized. But I will check it out today, Gregory, and thank you very kindly. I'll check it out the minute the show is over and I've packed for the beach. Beach, beach. How am I going to get to the beach? I could drive or I could fly. I would fly to the grocery store if I could. Do you work with your whole heart? Oh. Work with your whole heart and you will succeed. There's so little competition, Albert Hubbard. Well, Hubbard is all of a sudden being quoted. I love this. I have all kinds of Hubbard stuff up on my walls. Duncan from Kansas City, tips for business are usually good tips for the business of life. Agreed. I will be wearing my wolf mask on Sunday. Well, cool. I'm assuming Sunday is holiday, is Halloween. Um, that's so good. Um, a genius is a man who takes lemons that fate hands him and starts a lemonade stand with them. Not considered to be, if life gives you lemon, make lemonade, Albert Hubbard. Whoa. Whoa. See, there you go. Look how original. Albert Hubbard was an original. Died, unfortunately, in the Lusitania, which is supposedly some kind of predetermined thing. But who knows? That was the beginning of World War One. 
if you recall, if history treats you right and has been kind to you, uh, right now, I don't know what they're teaching in schools, but I can assure you it's not Hubbard Hubbard dies on the Lusitania. It's disgusting. Don't get me started. Um, we'll listen to Mrs. Message Garcia this weekend. It's cool. You should read it. Just There's downloadable copies. Just read it. Good morning, Jeffrey and 959 from BC. Notice that the stiffest tree is the most easily cracked while the bamboo or willow survives bending with the wind. Bruce Lee. Whoa, that's really good. That's really good. Randall, don't believe what your eyes are telling you. All they show you is limitation. Look with your understanding. Find out what you already know, and you will see the way to fly. Richard Bach. Cool. That's really cool. The American Bible. There you go. There you go. There's the... Thank you, Bradley. Let's see what that is. I'll send that to myself and check it out. I'm trying to purchase one copy for everybody in the mastermind so they can have an original copy as a gift, of course. Hard to find real good old ones. They're not expensive, though. Good evening, Toru. How are you? It's already weekend in Toruville. Always there with great ideas. Thanks again. My pleasure. Listen, Mazda man, if you're not, if you're in automobile sales and you're not taking a picture of every car you sell with the owner in the car, waving, smiling, and saying something about something great, take picture, take video, post, tag them. You win. You totally win. You tag them. They have a thousand followers. You have a thousand new prospects. Boom. How much did that cost? Boom. Don't say you don't have enough time. You have exactly the same number of hours in a day they were given to Pasteur, Michelangelo, Mother Teresa, Helen Keller, Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Jefferson, and Albert Einstein. H. Jackson Brown Jr. That guy's good. Guy's a good writer. And look at it. I mean, look, look how incredible that quote is. Look how incredible that quote is. I'm saving it. That's how incredible it is. I read it, but I didn't save it. Isn't that crazy? And now Craig Hall is making me save it. Thank you, Craig. All right, saved forever. Skinner. We should do for ourselves what we ask other people to pay us money to do for them. <laughs> Classic. Good morning, Peggy. I thought I lost the little... Oh, my backpack was stolen. Had some of my thoughts written in it. Found it in some luggage I left in Miami. How cool is that? Like lots of money in a piece of clothing you didn't wear for a while. <laughs> oh my goodness thought I lost the LPBOCC little platinum book of cha-ching boom okay cool I got it I got my own stuff we have 800 pieces of candy and we'll run out of them in less than two hours oh my god oh my god so what's the trick? I know what the treat is. What's the trick? Good morning. You know, want some candy? Yeah, candy is a thousand dollars, and life insurance policy that goes with it is free. Go for it. Good morning. Reading Letterman, the new art of selling. Cool, Chad. Great book. Elmer Letterman's a great writer too. Easy to read. Hot lead came in. Got to run. Go. Happy Friday, get him a crew. Hazel, how are you doing, bud? How's your health? Wishing you the wind in your sails. Come on, that's so damn good. Come on. That's so damn good. 
Um, I'll be a guest on your podcast as soon as you invite me. <laughs> I'll reciprocate. I have to tell you a quick story and then I got to go. I was flying on an airplane and sitting next to me was Jim Kelly, the great quarterback from the Buffalo Bills. And we had spoken together at an event in, I can't remember, Denver, California, somewhere out west, for Motorola. And he's autographing these footballs and everything. And I actually got one. And I said, listen, you probably don't remember me. We spoke at the same place at Motorola. Um, you know, I've authored this book and that book. I said, um, if you wouldn't mind autographing your uh, boarding pass, I'll autograph mine and we can trade them. And so I autographed my boarding pass and I gave it to him. He autographed his boarding pass and gave me back both. <laughs> True story, classically classic humor. JG, have you been to Gray, Gray, Oh, the Gaylord. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, I've been to every Gaylord, given speeches at every Gaylord. And lots of speeches, especially the one in Nashville. But I've been the Gaylord in uh, Florida, the Gaylord in Washington, D.C., and the Gaylord in Grapevine. All great hotels that you can't find your way around. Other scarier than... <laughs> yeah. Good morning, sir. Gold quote from JG yesterday. You can't just read the solution. You have to live the solution. If you can live it, you can make it happen. Boom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Unbelievable. Boy, this is a really good session today. I'm absolutely blown away by everybody and all their sayings and all their stuff. Thank you very much for all of you lending your wisdom and your thoughts. Joe, success is 10% opportunity and 90% intelligent hustle. Albert Hubbard. Exactly. Nothing scarier than a man without a plan. Happy Halloween. Exactly. Very well said. Very well said. And Toru gets his usual shout out. I love it. Ay, ay, ay. Well, that would be awesome. The American Bible. Mazda Man does post his customers with their new bought vehicles. The dude is moving cars. Zoom, zoom. Good. Debbie, how are you? Gregory, Mazda is doing that. It's one reason he's having his best year ever despite inventory shortages. My pictures are both on Facebook and Instagram, as well as my website. Cool. But I will try a few videos. Boom. Just ask him, how was the experience? Just say, hey, how was the experience? Well, it was the greatest. I said, how did you like hanging out with the actual Mazda man? Look at this. All these people are following Mazda man. I love it. The trick is me sitting motionless in the wolf mess, scaring the crap out of the tricksters, the trick-or-treaters. Good. That's fun. That's fun. Hello from Chester. Cool. Darby Creek Valley Association. Carl. Chester is a classic place. West Chester is a classic place. Unbelievable. Had a great speaking engagement for a healthcare system yesterday and asked them if they were to health and wellness or health and wealth and hellness. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? That hurts. And I promise you, it's pretty much the latter. And speaking of ladders, where's Doug Wayne? That, Pat, that's phenomenal. But you already knew that. I'm just reminding you. You look so intelligent in that picture with your tie and a beard.
and yet they still come in droves. When we were at the Gaylord in Washington, I was at the Gaylord in Washington a couple of years ago. I spoke for that coupon company that I can't remember the name. It wasn't uh, it wasn't Groupon. It was the other one. And their crab cakes were shitty. I called the general manager up. They changed the crab cakes the next day. I said, you can't be in Baltimore, Washington and have shitty crab cakes. It's impossible. Just bought a copy of the American Bible from 1911. $43.38. Perfect. You will love it. You will love it. Carl, good man. Sneed, I don't like it when the when the little ones cry. Oh, that's horrible. Well, they need to toughen up a little bit. You can help them. <laughs> Sell them an insurance policy, a cry, anti-cry insurance. Um, in the meantime, tomorrow morning is Saturday. I am going to be live from the beach. Um, and you guys can figure it out. I'm going to leave. I think it's probably best. On Halloween, I put out an empty bowl on the porch with a sign that says, please just take one. Every group thinks the last group cleaned it out. <laughs> there you go. I think we leave with that quote. I should hand out my dentist business cards. Yep. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, it's a pleasure. Almost happy Halloween. I'm not going to wear a costume. I apologize for hurting your feelings. I might have a Doug Wing t-shirt on. I'm not really sure. Peace to you. Sales to you. Plan for the week ahead. Don't end the week. There you go. Bye-bye.